and welcome. My name is Heroin Bob and welcome to Bob Buys where we are going to do a what sold video. Today this is for the sales I made on eBay because that is the only platform I have been making sales on recently for the week of January 3rd to January 9th. I again increased my number of sales and a lot of that has to do thanks to you guys. I have a couple of viewer sales to share with you guys and to thank you for, so I guess let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I sold is this Hyrex pie plate. It is a beautiful amethyst glass. I sold it for $10 and the buyer paid for shipping. This is one of the items that I listed in my current listing challenge and I'm really happy that I got immediate results from that. This next item was one of the first things I purchased when I started to do reselling consistently about two years ago, which means I've had this item for about two years. This is Miss Moxie, by the way. Uh, she'll be just down here as, you know, she always is. This was my lesson learned that not all things new in package is worth picking up. The person did buy it for my full asking price of $19.87, however, I did have it as free shipping and it was over a pound and the person that bought it lived in California. <laughs> so uh, while I did make a dollar and 25 cents after cost of goods fees and such, so I didn't lose any money, uh, this was definitely a newbie purchase that fortunately didn't cost me money, but I have made much better decisions, I feel, over the last two years than purchasing this item. But it was just a popular culture game new sealed in package that I bought from a CHKD. The next four items all went to the same buyer. Stacy, I would like to say thank you very much for purchasing this quite large bundle for me. She purchased two sewing patterns that I had actually purchased for myself a very long time ago when I felt like I had time to sew and I don't know why I purchased these for myself. And now that I've gotten a lot more into historical costuming, these are not good patterns. Not that they're not good patterns, they're just not historically accurate patterns. Um, they don't have any of the foundation layers in them with it, but they're really great for theatrical costumes or going to like a Ren fair or just fun cosplays. They're really good bases for that. She bought two of those simplicity patterns from me and she also purchased a butterfly gold casserole dish without the lid and also the two lemon and lime glasses that you guys saw me pick up in a video. I did, if you notice on this, that I did do a refund. I refunded her the overage for the shipping because she couldn't quite get all of them into one bundle. So I did give her a refund on the shipping so that way I, she only paid for the shipping that it cost to ship to her. But Stacy, again, thank you very much for this very lovely sale and I do appreciate you watching my videos and supporting me. This next item, it was also a part of my current listing challenge. It is a pair of restaurant wear plates from Sterling China. This is a pink and blue flower and all of these, these plates and then something that I will show you guys that sold this week in next week's sales video was a cup I found as well recently in like my thrifting, my last thrifting video. And the same buyer bought that too. So this lady is looking out for this pattern. So be on the lookout for this pattern. If you put it up for a reasonable price, chances are she will buy it. She bought these for $11.87 and she also paid for shipping and left me good feedback. So I'm glad that she loved them and they got to her safely. Um, this next item I paid a dollar for at the ReStore. It is just a new old stock piece of track for a hobbyist train track. And I mean, I made a couple bucks. I, I My return on investment was double my money. So I'm really happy with the sale. It was super lightweight, super easy, and it did take a while to sell. It took about six months to sell once I finally listed it. So I'm really glad that it's gone off to a new home. This next item is also a viewer sale. So Denise, thank you very much. She saw these in my Irish coffee thrifted treats video and decided to purchase them for herself for her own use. So Denise, thank you very much. She paid full price, which was she didn't have to do. So 
That was nice of you. Thank you. And she also paid for shipping. So I do hope you get them soon. I do know the packages are still very, very delayed with USPS, but I hope you get them soon and safely. And I really do appreciate Denise, you leaving comments on my videos and also for buying these mugs from me. And I hope you like them and I hope the recipe is as good for you as it was for me. <laughs> This next item is a pair of Tommy Hilfiger wingtip Oxford heeled shoes. These are beautiful. If they were more comfortable, I probably would have kept them, but they were about half a size too big for me and they also were not comfortable. One, because they were half a size too big, but two, because they just, they had a very like hard, uncomfortable sole and very little padding but they sold on an offer for $18 plus shipping and I paid $5.50 for them. This next item is a vintage pair of Levi's Silver Tab size 40 inch waist pair of shorts. Silver Tab is a brand from the 90s. These are vintage from the 90s. It's got that nice loose fit and people who like cargo shorts like cargo shorts. So I bought these for I think $2.00 because I normally only pay get shorts for like half off and I normally try to buy shorts out of season and just kind of stock up for the summer months. Of course, that's why I have this giant death pile uh, behind the camera. So I took a best offer on these of $19.90 and they fit in a padded flat rate envelope because they were heavy. So even though they were shorts, they were heavy and had to go priority in a padded flat rate envelope. This next item was a mistake on my part. Not a mistake to pick up because it was a really good pickup. Uh, whenever I see fiberglass mid-century lampshades in any kind of condition, uh, I try to pick them up. I actually picked this out of the hoarder house and I forgot to put on the shipping. Normally if something weighs more than a pound or if it's big like this was, I put calculated shipping that the buyer pays and I didn't click that little button. Or I should say I didn't unclick the little button that said free shipping and so it, if I hadn't gotten this item for free this would have probably lost me money but I did get it for free out of the hoarder house I did have to pay like I think less than eight dollars it was seven dollars and 88 cents for shipping this so I only made like seven dollars from the sale but it's off to a new home hopefully it'll go on a lovely mid-century lamp and uh, I'm definitely going to be much better about double checking to make sure I don't have free shipping on items that weigh over a pound. <laughs> this next item is something I paid a dollar and fifty for all four of them. There were a couple of repeats. These are some vintage brass ornaments. They were new old stock still in the original packaging. The buyer paid, offered me eleven dollars plus shipping and I took it so this went off to a new home and hopefully they will be able to use it next year for Christmas. This next item is again something else that I listed in my listing challenge. This is the Boomerang Green and Halt Plastic Ashtray. Again, I love everything green and when I picked this up I knew it would be awesome because it is the quintessential mid-century lines and someone paid my full asking price of $19.87 and free shipping. So I hope whoever gets it enjoys it. And I, again, am really glad that I'm seeing some immediate results from this listing challenge. This next item is those Adipure toe shoes, those Adidas Adipure toe shoes. Uh, they, I sent out a best offer to watchers of I think like 10 or 15% off and they accepted it. So they paid $38.99 free shipping. Of course, this went in a shoe box and They've already received it and hopefully they enjoy that. But again, another thing I listed with my challenge and I'm really happy to have that space because they were size 12 on my shoe rack. <laughs> so I'm glad they're out of my house. And the last item I have to share with you is this pair of new Adidas X from Rio collab shoes. These are a size six. I paid $20 for this retail arbitrage from the Adidas outlet. And I only have two pairs of the eight pairs I bought. Uh, the Adidas outlet by me will only allow resellers to buy eight pairs and receive any kind of discount or promotion that's going on. So you can buy eight and that is your limit. So you have, whenever you're doing retail arbitrage, some outlets have limits as to how many of one type of shoe you can purchase. Just be mindful of that when you are purchasing RA. So 
I, I bought my maximum number. I have sold six of the eight pair. Um, I only have size eight left. So if you like Farm Rio and Adidas and are a size eight, I have two pair left. <laughs> But they paid $45.87 and it was actually someone here in Virginia. So it was less than $8 to ship it even in the full shoe box, the priority mail shoe box box. So that was really nice. It was a very good sale. I'm very happy about it. So all in total, I sold 16 items, which is a lot considering two weeks ago before I started doing this listing challenge, I sold three items that week. So I went from three items to 12 items and now I'm at 16 items. So I am just absolutely floored. I know a lot of it has to do with you guys supporting me by making those purchases. Again, Denise and Stacy, thank you so much for buying for me to support me and my channel and my reselling. I really cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. And I hope this was helpful to see that, you know, if you list stuff, they sell. And if you're able to hold yourself accountable, to actually listing the items that you pick up. They are actually worth the money you thought they were. You just got to put them up for sale so people know they can buy them. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you hero, in the next video. Hero, and until then, bye. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. I want to be a hero, hero.